Basic Splitworks demo. In this demo, we show some of the basic functionality of Splitworks. We use the split menu to find the optimal splitting direction by selecting different directions and dynamically previewing the color coding of the faces according to whether they belong to the core side, the cavity side, both core and cavity side, or are no draft faces. The split menu shows no draft faces which are completely surrounded by the core or by the cavity and allows us to categorize them as core or cavity faces through the main groups only checkbox. Another checkbox allows us to display the parting lines, yellow for closed and pink for open. The faces that point in both the core and cavity direction are displayed in red and added to the silhouette selection box. The create silhouette button will split these faces and recategorize the color coding. In the case, we do not need to split them since the both sides faces will be used for side calls, so we delete the split. On the second tab, we have color settings which can be modified per group and a button to hide the group faces. Statistics of the face are shown below. Finally, we can display separation of the core from the cavity by exploding them in different directions. Clicking OK on the dialog will create a permanent color coding of the faces of the part and the parting lines and a Splitworks feature manager tree, including this color coding under different folders. A parting line folder is created as well. This feature manager tree has its own environment to manipulate the faces by using the right hand mouse button menus on the different folders in order to create closed parting lines between the core and the cavity, which we already have in this example, and to make sure that we do not have undercuts. We move the both side faces to other folders, side core 1 and side core 2, which we have created initially. More can be created as needed, and we will deal with them later. Looking at the bosses above, we can see that they are indeed undercuts. Luckily, we can edit the SOLIDWORKS tree and change the boss directions by changing the draft di direction. Notice that the color coding is dynamically updated, as well as the parting line display. Modify the part with the standard SOLIDWORKS menus and Splitworks dynamically updates the moldability of the part. This is a very useful tool. Next we can choose the core or the cavity folder and create a surface from its faces. In this, if this fails, we have tools to diagnose and repair. Next we use the full holes to isolate the surfaces and to full holes if this doesn't completely work, we can use SOLIDWORKS surface menus to complete the job. Finally, we need to create the parting surface. We can do this either with SOLIDWORKS tools, i.e. using the radiate surface shown here, or we can use the dedicating loft lofting tool from Splitworks called Loft, which lofts group of edges according to a direction. The Splitworks Loft is modal and allows partial solutions as well. When surfaces have to be repaired, we have tools on the right-hand mouse button to facilitate them. We select two open edges and or vertices, and the system previews a loft surface between the two, which can be modified according to the parameters in the dialog. Once created, the new surface is automatically knitted to the main surface and the system returns to the LIDO for the creation of the next loft. When the parting surface is created, we use the Create Solid Inserts menu, which opens a new assembly with a part inserted, and a dialog that previews core and cavity insert blanks read in from a user expandable blank library. We accept the default values and create the inserts. Finally, we show an exploded view. Check out the add side course video to see how we create the side course.